No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. And today we are bringing you an epic S5 interview with my man, Almighty Suspect. How you doing, G? Yo, gang. What's going on? Shit. So how do you guys know each other? Because <laughs> uh, I'm one of um, somebody from his neighborhood, uh, K Lyons. Um, we got like same type management and like that's like my boy type shit. So I was going, you feel me, in that area type shit. And this was before he was rapping, you feel me? Like, yeah, I'm just, rapping? I'm just in turf, you feel me? Cooling, doing my thing, you feel me? I, I think um, his his boy was shooting a, no, our boy was shooting a video. You feel me? My name, K-Lines was shooting a video, you feel me? So I um, ran into S5 in the alley and shit, you feel me? But he wasn't even rapping. He was just like a cool young nigga, you feel me? He was smooth, you know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, that's how I met him, type shit. Just knowing niggas from his area. Okay. Uh, picking me up from school and shit. Oh God! I used to pick this nigga from school. Went to the mall. Oh God! <laughs> Why? <laughs> how? This, Cause you feel me? Like he was like a smooth young, n and you feel me? I liked how he was moving. Type shit. You Before know what I'm saying? Yeah. Saying, this yeah. he wasn't even rapping yet, like at all. I just liked you, you feel me? Like how he was moving. So How'd I, you get home from school normally though? <laughs> mm, I would probably just drive on. Oh yeah, your own car too. Can you guys put the mic more, like pull it up more? Because he's having a hunch over. Also, why are we not doing this before we start? <coughs> yeah, that's better. Right there. Yeah, I picked good. my from school. We went shopping. You know what I'm saying? Went shopping. Clark <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> it's my young man. It's your comedy. Oh, God. So what's what was your upbringing like in the Moreno Valley? That shit was like, that shit was like, like kind of hard, but. They got through that shit. So you had kind of like a hard upbringing? Yeah, yeah, like anybody else, yeah. So what was it like? What were your, what were your parents on? Mm, my pops wasn't really there, but like he, he was in the pen. And then my mom was there, though. She did she did good. Okay. So you were getting trouble from an early age, or what was what, what kind of shit <laughs> yeah, were you yeah. into as a kid? Yeah. Like, nigga, most of my kids, I was like in the halls. When, when you was growing up, like, did you already know, like, you was going to game bang? Like, like, or what made you, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, did you grow up seeing that? Like, what made you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I grew up seeing that, but I was, like, I was more on some, like, nigga ain't going to do that because, like, mm. what's the point? Right. But then after I went to jail when I was, like, 14, I'm like, nigga, so yeah, got it all again. That happened, like, when I was 15. What did you do when you were 14 to get locked up? It's like, it was, like, a fight. I think I was, like, a fight at school and then, like, a robbery, like, two robberies. Mm. How many years did you end up doing? <laughs> Not no years. It was just like two months, two, three oh, okay. months. Involved. Let you home a house arrest? Oh, God. I know Chilling. How go. They let you home a house arrest when you first go down. Wait, so what was going on in the jail that you were like, damn, I'm a, I'm a gangbang now? No, I wasn't even in jail. It was just like. Was you claiming yet? When I went to jail my first time? Mm -hmm. Nah, you was like, I'm not going gangbang at all. Yeah, I was just, I'm 14. You was on some sports oh, shit. You was just. It was just by accident. I'm like, damn, I'm in here. Mm. Then when I came back again. That's when it's like, it's different. Staff already knew me and shit. They calling me my first and last name. Oh, yeah, boom, boom. Mm. So yeah, it was bad. Mm. So, okay, so that's all like through high school? Uh, do you, that's it, all through middle school. Oh, that's, we're not yeah, even in high in school. school. Yeah, I'm still in school. I'm in 12th grade. You're still going? I, mean, I need 40 more credits. Do you still <laughs> actively go or are you homeschool? Mm. I just stopped actively going, but I I, I should pop so back out on it. You feel me? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so, this is my thing. Is like I feel like when you're in high school, there's like pretty high standards for you. Like I feel like even smoking weed on camera would probably be enough to get you in, in trouble in school, right? Or am I, mean, I just thinking of it? Phase and a back all type of. Shit. Oh, you're just fighting in school. It was all type of shit at school. Yeah. yeah. So you experience being popular like with the rap shit in school. Or you stopped going as soon as you cracked with the rap? Mm, probably like a couple months after, after like a couple months after me going to that school, I like I dropped a couple of videos and shit. and then I got like the trophy tatted on my head, and then yeah, and then I saw like every time I drop a song, the fans will come. They'll be like, oh, yeah, I just seen your song and shit. so yeah, I started like so it was coming somewhat. to your class, like walking yeah, in, oh, saying, even oh, the teacher, so like I swear they'll play the song on the TV. Mm. Like when I go into the class, I'll sit in the back. They'll be playing my shit. Everybody be looking at me like, that's you? 
That's not you. <laughs> That's me. High school must have changed a lot because, like, when I was in high school, if I played one of his rap videos, I would have gotten a lot of trouble. It's different. Yeah, that shit's it's different. different. Yeah. And it's Marino Valley. You got to tell them, like, yeah. what Marino Valley like. Because, like, to the average person, they hear Marino Valley and think of Valley. Describe Marino Valley to somebody who never been. Yeah, nigga. Marino Valley, it's like it's like any other city. That shit not sweet. That shit, you feel me? That shit. Regular shit happen, too. Oh, God. But I feel they just like shit regular. I don't know. That shit be regular. Were you growing up, like, looking at L.A. like you wanted to move there? You thought that that was this really dope place? Or were you, like, not thinking about that at all? You know, I was in the hall. I didn't even, I wouldn't even think about nothing. I'm, I'm thinking about getting out of here. Boom, boom, boom. Niggas just lived in the murder. That's it, pretty much. You right. Even think about going to LA. Mm-hmm. And describe what that is. That's describe what the murder is. You know, the murder is the Marino Valley. You feel me? Nickname for Marino Valley. That, oh, that just lets you know what be going on out there. Like you know what I'm saying? It's not really sweet. I figured it out once I moved over there for a little bit. It get cracking. <laughs> but were you losing friends at early ages? Is that wild out there? Hmm. Just How people. early? Yeah. I probably, my first friend, probably like, I probably like 15, 14, probably. We're talking about getting shot or? Yeah, like, yeah. Gang violence type shit, like he died for some gang shit? Yeah. Mm. You know, God, most of the time be some random shit. It be random ass shit. Just people getting into it and weird situations and shit? Yeah, random, like regular shit that be happening. Oh, God. So who made you want to rap? Who made me want to rap? Nobody really made me want to rap, but like when I don't know how to say, nobody really made me want to rap. I just just started rapping. When I got out, I was just like, "Fuck it, I'ma just really just if I'ma drop a video. I'ma really like drop the video. I don't want to just drop this song and then put it on SoundCloud and just leave it. No, I want to drop like the, with the visual too. So the dropping and just keep going crazy. That's how I really. Who who do you feel like you were inspired by? Like who were you listening to around that time? Hmm. Shit, the nigga I was probably listening to, like Young Boy. Shit, I don't know, like Young Boy probably on God. Like young Boy and shit. It was not nobody who really like rap, rap that I do. Right. So how'd you even know like how to get in the studio or how to shoot a professional video? Mm, I seen the homie, the, the homie K3, he just made a song. This is like his first song. He made a song, boom, he called me. Cause I was in the halls with him too. So he called me, he was like, bro, like nigga, you need to go to the studio and shit, fool. Oh yeah, it's good. So boom, I went to the homie Noah house, and then nigga was in there. Then we made our first song, Free Grammy Dog. Shot a video to that. Went to Ram Rancho Mall, put them folks on my shit, rocked them out. Yeah, sir. So yeah, so basically, let me break down what he just said. For some <laughs> people don't know what he said. He put the folks on the shirt, whacked them out. So do you think that that's what? How long was it until you went viral? And do you think that? The diss that was, it helped you go viral. That was kind of like before I went viral, though, because mm. I was on a whole nother channel. So you went to the mall and made a shirt dissing the ops. You're right, though, because I kind of was just letting that you blow gotta, by. I wasn't really thinking about it. You got to really pay attention because he's saying some shit. <laughs> I did see me? a little bit of that in the videos or whatever, so I, I, I know what you mean. So yeah. like Rio Rancho Mall, that's like what? For like us, like the swap meet? Yeah, it's like the swap meet. Nigga went up there broad daylight, got me a shirt made, did a video. And then, shit, a nigga did another video, did the same thing, boom, bye, bye, dropped that shit too, and crazy. I'm like, ooh, this shit going up. I did a little different video, got me some designer this time, did that, kept going doing it. Were you, did it start cracking off right away, or how long did it take Hell before? Yeah, that people... shit good. My first video, got like 100,000, over 100,000 now. And you didn't do anything to promote it, you just put it online? And... I'm just he dropping just, that shit. He just went crazy, he had the shirt. And the song was hard. The song YouTube's hard crazy. The song was hard. YouTube's crazy. How you can just put a video on a new channel and like if people really be watching it, that it'll just start showing that shit to more people. It's facts. What what made you was it something that you heard that made you want to go put the shirt and make a song? Like was it a response or that's just what you wanted to do? No, that one wasn't that was, hell no, nah, no. Nah. Most of the shit I do is not a response. I just do it just because. And that's my dog too. Right. I mean he just went to jail. I'm like, nigga, what else? How else come I going he gonna hear me through this right here? Right. Play this, that's my dog. Yes, sir. So, how'd your life start changing once you started getting all those views and shit? Like, how what would you do differently? Like when I was dropping them videos. Well, yeah, just like I mean, you got to start thinking about life a little different once you start having some success, right? And isn't this all in like the past year? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. This is like 
I made my YouTube, like this time last year, I didn't have no YouTube. Now I got like 9 million views on it. So I made it in like 11 months. So, yeah, what what's changed in your life since you uh, popped off like that? Shit. I just got, it's like the same thing. I be doing the same shit. I just got hella money now, so. Just cooling, do your just thing, cooling. smoking, just, kicking yeah, it with the homies. I, I just, they don't God, nigga, just humble. I just be thankful for the shit. I just be chilling. Because you signed, right? Mm-hmm. Is that where the majority of the cash is coming from? Nigga got money before, but yeah, hell yeah. Right. Hell yeah, the majority <laughs> of the cash came from that. Hell Can yeah. you tell us who you signed? Yeah, who'd you sign? I signed at 300. Oh, nice. That's right. On God. 300 ENT. Damn, we Thanks. keep interviewing their artists and they keep posting it on their Instagram. That's funny. You had another 300 ENT artist? Oh, uh, ASM Bobster, and there's more too that I'm forgetting right now. Uh-huh. I can like this? Oh, I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Do it. Um, yeah, so what was it about them? Or like, how'd you even start these conversations about signing? Uh, shit, I was dropping hot shit. I was dropping back to back all year. It yeah, was like, like, what was it like? Like once a month you was dropping? Hell no, I'm dropping like, like damn near. I'm trying to drop like once a week. Yeah, like like once every week, like damn near twice every week. I'm trying to, nigga, what? If I got three songs, I'm trying to drop that shit too. Drop it on that channel, drop it on this channel, all around. Just keep doing that shit. Wait, so you don't just put them all on the same channel? You like to mix it up? Nah, first it was on another channel, but then I made my own channel. So okay. like some of my videos, then you got majority over here. A lot of people got that that problem. Or not a problem, but. No, no, it's good though. Start off dropping on like a director's channel and then go to your own world star, shit like that. Um, well, So. When you first started rapping, uh, I see you had a song with with wasn't he, uh, the song with Heen Beasy was your first song? Hell no, no. Free Gabby dog was my first song. Oh yeah, you right. And, and then y'all did the the fuck life. Like the, uh, I did uh, Castle Christmas. You right. I did like, or that was like your songs. first feature type shit. Or who was who was your first feature? My first feature is R D. I think. Oh, why would you want to cancel Christmas? Shit, that shit was already canceled. It's a great time of year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look good. Get the whole family together. That's right. Get the whole family together. <laughs> throw this, throw body. So, I see you've been doing music mainly by yourself. Um, what's your relationship with R3 like right now? Shit, cool it. Save. Yeah, y'all good? Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah, when's the last time you guys uh, put music out together? I think my boy Late dropped some on his page a couple of months ago. What is like 06. Does the Moreno Valley need unity? Like, I feel like, you know, there's more artists from there popping off now than ever. Is it, is it a wave? Is this part of a movement? How you feel about it? Hell no. I just feel like I should have been there now they just seen it. Mm. Pretty much. Oh, uh, and do you feel like, because Edgemont is also an area, right? Hell yeah, yeah, it's community. That's the community. Do you feel like Edgemont and and Ho has, like, a wave, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and do you feel like it's different from Marino Valley? You feel like Edgemont is different? Yeah, yeah, Edgemont is, like, Edgemont. The Breeder Valley, Breeder Valley, IE, IE, LA, LA. So Edgemont is, like, inside Marino Valley. Hell yeah. Definitely. So have you even, like, performed live yet? Like, on stage and shit? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where, where have you performed at? I perform... And like LA, I perform out of state. Perform a couple places. With who? Um, the one I stay, um, the one out here I perform like with art thing and shit. We did like rock and roll and shit. And I perform some out of state. I think one with like True Car. Speaking of rock and roll, they had Peasy on the remix. Oh yeah. How I feel to have Peasy in on the remix and how did that happen? That shit cool. Uh shit. They just called me. My AR Carby, he was like, because I posted uh about my story, like a song with his, like mm-hmm. with his thing. The next day he called me, he was like, you like his song? I'm like, yeah. He was like, oh yeah, I bet. Then the next day he called me, he was like, listen to this. He showed me it. I'm like, that shit hard. It was the rock and roll? So he just popped up with the verse on you, your A&R? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's fire. So y'all, um, how much longer was did y'all um, link up to do the video? After the song, said we did like probably a couple weeks after that. Weeks after, it was mm-hmm. cool. Oh God, that shit was smooth. Was talking well, shit. Did you notice anything interesting about him, being that he's from a totally different part of the country and he's a bit older, experienced? Yeah, nah, I was really like trying to get that, like get the video out the way. Uh huh. Just heard him do it type shit. If it was on some different type, probably nigga would probably be chopping it up more. 
but you right. more focused on the video. I said, get that shit out the way, oh God. I feel you. When did you start smoking weed? I started really smoking, like, um, um, like when I was like 16. How many blunts you smoke a day? <laughs> I smoke a hell of wood a day, god damn. Um, probably like, shit, I don't be counting. Shit, I don't know, probably like eight, shit. Sheesh. You smoking big gas. Especially if I'm driving plays in the shit, we smoking two on the way, two on the back. Damn. <laughs> I remember my wood days. It's been a while. Mm. So how it feel being a famous teenager? <laughs> Cause you said how old is you? I just turned eighteen. Just turned eighteen. How it feel being a, a famous teenager? How it feel, bro? When like literally it went, it happened real fast for you fast too. Like hell. he went from I seen it. He went from young nigga in the alley. I'm just picking him up from high school. Studying. He just cooling in the passenger seat, just cooling, smoking cool woods. Like, I he ain't, ain't even, about no music. Nothing. No he ain't nothing. even we asked chilling. me. He ain't, he ain't talking about rap. Nothing. You can bring your weed to school now? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining the weed stanking through the backpack, but I guess there's probably. Yeah, don't do those. Yeah, like, obvious shit. Like, don't be coming around there. You go smoke in class. Who the fuck you think you is? Right. Yo, no, go to the restroom. <laughs> oh, the bell okay. ring. Me and that motherfucker puppet or the toilet. Like, they come in. <laughs> Oh, the woods out of toilet, flush that shit. You got caught smoking in school before? Hell no. Nah. Wow. Well, smooth dude. You do weed. other drugs or just weed? I just do weed. Probably pop a perk. <laughs> good, my good man. I, I do not encourage this behavior. <laughs> <laughs> nah, perks is okay. When I got in a car accident, they would prescribe you perks and shit. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you should just keep taking them forever. He in pain. <laughs> He's like, well, a uh, doctor gave him to me. So. Yeah, a doctor gave it to me. I'm my like, boy hurt. <laughs> Listen, the other day I was watching this documentary my friend did where he went to the Chicago trap house, right? And there's two junkies that are smoking crack and fucking shooting up heroin. And he says, how did y'all get like this? And he said, I was a tennis player and I broke my ankle and they gave me fucking, you know, oxys or whatever. And then now he's in this fucking trap house smoking crack. Weak-minded individuals. Yeah. That's well, but these are very powerful substances. It's a lot of smokers. That yeah. Be, that would be what? No, that I, part. Yeah, I'm not not saying that. I'm just saying be careful with the perks. I feel like, cause nigga, hey, you know me. Nigga don't need no perks, <laughs> just like a nigga don't need no weed. I'll stop smoking weed. Yeah, you really think you could? Hell yeah, nigga don't need weed. Nigga don't need none of that shit. I mean, I was trying to not smoke weed before my interviews today. I was trying to do it after, but then had a little break in the day. I had to smoke. Yeah, it's hard to not to not smoke weed. I ain't gonna yeah, lie. Yeah, it's like if you if you if, why not? Like, what's stopping you from smoking weed? That's all they're doing it. I don't know. I just like I want to challenge myself to not do it until I'm done my interviews, but then inevitably I always end up doing it between interviews. Yeah, no, nigga trying to be high. Fuck that. <laughs> What's your dream feature and who you listening to right now? Uh, shit, still young boy. It is uh, my dream feature. Uh, shit, I just want to take this shit far, super far. Like this ain't none yet type shit. Do you ever talk to young boy? Hell no. I bet he's heard your music. You think he's tapped in? He probably is. That's why I'm going crazy. I don't have an open DM with him or I would send him a link. Yeah, put a whip, roll up, rock out to that shit. That's right. So that's your favorite rapper, young boy? Low key, yeah, he hard. It didn't bother you when he started painting his nails and wearing makeup and shit? Yeah, she don't got that to be. I, <laughs> like, I like his music. I feel you. I feel that. Like it seems like he turned that off pretty quickly. I don't think he's still doing it, right? Mm -hmm. I don't um, pay attention that hard. I don't know. Definitely. Um, so do you feel like now that you're blowing up, do you have to take your security totally different? You got to be a lot more careful about how you move and everything? I ride with no security. I'm security. So you're not worried about it? I still do the same shit. Hell no. You ain't driven. Respect. Cool. Your name, Stone the Fifth. All right, yeah. You feel me? We skipping over some shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stone the fifth. Being the, the fifth. being a California person, you feel me? That's how we do it. Explain how you got your name, Stone the Fifth. I got my name, Stone the Fifth, called the Fifth Stone. The Fifth Stone from where? The edge box. What's so, a stone? Shit. Infant stone. And then big stone. And oh, okay. it, it's one of the stones your dad, right? So you inherit that name, or did you did you ask for it? Did you inherit it? Like, how did you get it? Hell no, I ain't asked for that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so you wanted your name to be something different? Mm -hmm. uh. 
But then you just name. shortened it down for your rap name? Nah, he wanted his name to be something completely different. He's saying like he didn't want to be. So you you saying you didn't you, you didn't want your name to be Stone? Nah, but they was for be Stone before. Like when I was 15, nah, but they was for the before we first. It wasn't for the be Stone. It was for the be some whole other shit. But then once I thought I was for the go with the whole other shit, the next day, I had to do the same thing again. Longer now, way more rounds. It changed my name. Mm, so so you saying you got put on twice? Jeez. <laughs> you have to get put on again to change your name? You don't gotta get put on twice to change your name. So you saying something happened? Nah. If you just if that nigga really wanna do that and and make you learn from not listening the first time. Mm, so ah, you do like discipline. fifteen rounds. And- uh, ah, so so you had to change your name because of that. Oh god. Mm. It's real out here. It is. Yeah. Game banging tough. Nah, no, it's not that bad, though, nigga. <laughs> what the fuck? It's not all the way that bad. It's good. You got to explain it to I'm him, then. Like, hell. tell him, like, you I, feel me? So, it, bro, so, I got right through that I am, school. I'm glad I've had you here to kind of, like, interpret some of the things you're saying for me because I have been, like, really missing it. You got to know. So, so Thank you. You, you saying you was going to have another name, right? And then, so what? They was like, so was it your pops that was like, that's not finna be your name or somebody else? And can you say that? I'm fucking weak. <laughs> uh, um, the, only, the main person I was tripping about pops. Mm, so he didn't want you to gangbang. Yeah, he don't want me to gangbang. I've been Hair week, there. He, he having th- talks with me and shit. He telling me like it's not that. Like he, are you for me? He tell me the right shit, mm-hmm. for real, for real. You so so and he I'm guiding thinking, you from the pen. He the nigga just did like that. Blur. Like 16 years, 16, like if he did 15 for sure. But a nigga just tell me, like, it's not that. You feel me? Like, he tried to have talks with me and shit, picking me up and shit, we have a little talk. But. So he did 15 years and he got out? Yeah. That's why I was 15. But he, we, we, cool. Yeah. Okay. That's why I know. Why, how come you ain't listening to your dad on this one? That was your first. Oh, that's cold. What? That was your first time meeting him when you was 15? That was my first time me remembering, hell yeah. Mm. He did 15 years. Uh, so uh, so so he left when you was like a baby. You were just talking to him over the phone, and then you met him in person. Ah, uh, so of course. So you was too young. So you were just talking to him over the phone. Do you met him for so the first time? So he was trying time. to be like a dad, not trying to be my big homie. Mm. Like people like, nigga, I'm not gonna be your. I'm very trying to be your dad. You feel me? So okay. How was it for somebody trying to discipline you over the phone, and he like not That's there? That's what I'm saying. I don't even remember that. Nigga ain't talking to me like that over the phone. But what makes Did you want to try? What makes you want to ignore his advice that, on the gangbanging shit? Huh? What makes you want to ignore his advice on the gangbanging shit? But he was right. Right. But you're still doing it, right? In that time, he mean, like, at that moment, what made you be like, man, fuck it, this the hood. I'm around the homies. But, like, anybody, like, like all these, like, anything else, like, I don't know how to explain, like, but you want to do something, it's like, nigga, I'm going to do it. Just because he said it not to, I, that's not going to tell me not to. Right. Yeah, feel that's going to make me want to do it more. I'm like, you keep thinking that's going to stop me from doing it. Uh, so basically, he was like, "You was like, I'm gonna be somebody else. You get, you get put on. He don't even want you to be from there. Then he finds out, and he like, if you gonna do it, you gonna be, you gonna be to the neck." Man, you really just broke that down for me. Thank you, suspect. Really, really earning your pay right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's very interesting. All right, so so let me ask you this: This is your first interview, right? What, what, first interview. What had you holding out? Cause yeah. he think he famous, nigga. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Cause he a star. Making y'all a moment, a star, you know? nigga. Y'all can't. Y'all ain't worthy of the interview. Like, like other people was asking for interviews and shit, but I was like, what for? And I, I be watching no jumper. I was like, what if hey. these people ask type shit? I would do it, and I just waited for my time. Right. No, the music like he is know he's, It sounds like he knows his value. Hmm. That's what that sounds like. Well, I mean, what you don't want to be is you don't want to be the dude who goes out and does 18 fucking interviews because then nobody gives a fuck about hearing you Man, after that. that. nigga would do 40 interviews just because they want to do this one. <laughs> once they get this one, it's like, nigga, you already ran You already didn't told it all. You told it all. You don't Ain't know no what questions. to ask you. He's like, hold on. You said this in the other 18. Yeah. Ain't no questions. <laughs> Stupid yeah. ass nigga. You wasn't even big back then either. Stupid. <laughs> I said, that's why you wanted to wait too. You're like, it's nothing to ask me. What are you going to ask me? Like, you going to ask me about the shit I'm doing right now and try to build up to. Now I can talk about my album, all type of shit. 
You nice. know the cool shit is that he keeps breathing like the weed smoke like into the mic and then it looks like the weed smoke is leaving the mic like it's on <laughs> fire. <laughs> He's just taking like bigger hits than like the average person, I think, and just blowing it into the foam. Nigga be smoking this motherfucker almost gone. Yeah. Uh, nigga chain smoking. Huh? Those, them's them 18 year old lungs, man. Oh, I'm fucking weak. <laughs> so what's up with the album though? Like uh, how much work went into it and shit? Shit. Um, hella work. I got it down already though. I'm finna drop that soon too. By the time this come out, she gonna be dropped. I got a couple people on it. I just knocked out a feature on be peasy. I got a couple other people too. Two peasies. Two peasies. <laughs> In a pod. It's fucking corny ass <laughs> Adam, bro. <laughs> this nigga, bro. Fucking cornball, <laughs> my nigga. <laughs> I fucking hate you. Okay. But let me ask you this. What else do you do besides, you know, the rapping thing, hanging out, smoking? Like, what, you got any hobbies, anything we need to know about? Mm, yeah. A nigga might start twitching and shit, like like live on Twitch and shit. Oh, yeah? Yeah, nigga might go live on Twitch and shit. You play games? Like GTA 5 RP. That's what you do? console, yeah, yeah. Oh, you on there, okay. playing and shit. That shit costs double digits. You be That's doing, right. like, O-Block role-playing or what? I be playing all that shit. You got like a clan like, yeah. and shit. Wait, wait, you wait, 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 wait. I said you, you do O Block role playing. Is that what they do? Like, isn't that uh, what uh, Almighty J got in trouble hell, for? Nah. Y'all be edge my slide no shit on on, on the GTA. Uh, hell no, nah. I just be playing that shit. <laughs> so you don't like fake gangbang in there? Like that's what we're hearing about. He said nah. He just be online. He ain't got the whole T Grizzly team, Lil Dirk gangbanging shit. Yeah, right. Yeah, they be I ganged up on that. I be hopping into some random shit. Sometimes they know me at S Five. Yeah. Bitch ass nigga. Oh, you be playing uh uh the game with your fans and shit online? Um, that'd be fine. Mm, yes. Sometimes they already be in a server and I just hop in, they'll just be knowing me sometimes. Mm. That should be dope. They just know it's you? Or is That's it I'm talking. Your, your username? Oh, they could hear your voice and tell? Mm? That's fucking impressive. Sorry. Everybody sounds the same to me. You barely hear me, so it's like, oh, I hear about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. I guess you have a unique voice, yeah. Talking about that whisper swag, that little, that little whisper shit you got going on. Is that the? Oh, fuck is that weird. your dance and, and is you gonna name it the little? You Who feel me? Puda? <laughs> <laughs> is a name for it? Uh, shit, we gonna just call it. I don't know what the name. You for gotta right put a now. name on it, man. Niggas be doing it. He be doing. You know what I'm telling you, he be in the video. Like, you gotta put a name on it, gang. Oh God. You on TikTok? Mm-hmm. You got if you're gonna be I dancing. I feel like some of your shit went viral. You gotta on go on there. Didn't oh God. That's the crazy part. All this shit blew up without TikTok. Like, I ain't make no TikTok. Mm. I wasn't even following about that. From when I make that shit, it's going to be crazy. I'm going to make me TikTok. I'm going to just boom, post that shit, tell them follow me, at least start posting on that shit. You just got to be careful. You can't smoke. Yeah, you can't smoke. That's what I'm saying. I think yeah. I like to smoke. What the fuck am I going to do? Look at the camera. Hell yeah, no. I got a lot of friends who, like, clearly have smoked weed on their account because when I look at it, their engagement is so bad and I'm like, you definitely smoked weed on TikTok and they just not letting your posts go go to anybody. Is is it hard being being a rapper and you not really a social media nigga? Like, you barely be on there. Oh God. You barely post. You barely, you feel me? I don't be seeing you live. You know what I Because that's like, that's really me. I don't need social media to feel like I'm somebody. Niggas go to that motherfucker to feel like they... They bigger than who they is. I know who I am. That's the difference. That's right, because he don't really that post. That was hard. Yeah, you feel me? You gotta... Bars. <laughs> Bars. Y'all know what to ask, my young nigga. Feel me? This is his first interview. You got to you gotta get it out of him. No, nah, that's good, though, because I could tell, like, you know, this. think about something. You listen to Playboy Cardi? <laughs> I don't listen I to him, to. but I, I, I feel like he did it right. He's like kept himself very scarce. You don't yeah, see him too much. He's, like he's, that. he's mysterious. And that'll like really help make the fans interested. Whereas, again, when I was talking about rappers doing 18 interviews before they put a project out, it's like it's, it's to the, the opposite. Mystique. Yeah. It adds to the mystique. And nah, a, a nigga go to your Instagram just checking to see if you're going to do something and he's nothing. He going to drop a video. Mm. You feel me? That's it. It it adds to the mystique because everybody's in your face, in your face, and then you got like somebody like S Five, and he ain't gonna post nothing. He just somewhere cooling, recording. Then the only time you gonna see is when you drop a video. No cap. It adds to the mystique. That's how it's supposed to be. And whatever in the street, you leave it in the street. You ever have to go back and and edit your songs to take some of the disses out and shit like that? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you never like thought about something afterwards like, and you were like, man, that was too much. You like, oh fuck. Did did Chicago inspire you to dislike that or or or, or what? You just woke up and was like, nigga, I'm getting disrespectful today. No, no. It's like I can speak about the same shit. That's your real life. Facts. That's what's going on. He's speaking about what's going on in the neighborhood. He said, "Yeah, this is real life. That's, That's right. real." <laughs> what else? Uh, what do you want to accomplish before you're done in the rap game? What I want to accomplish? These good questions. Uh, what I want to accomplish? Or like what? Like like what you mean by that? Just like any- Grammys, features, yeah. billboards. Like what you? Where you want to take this shit? Um. Damn, I want to take this shit like, like so far, Nick can't even think about it type shit. Like I want to like be like, I don't know, like I don't know how to explain some it. young boy shit. Yeah, like some crazy Drake. shit. Drake, some Drake shit. Be, <laughs> the Drake of Moreno Valley. The Drake of Edgemont. The Drake of Edgemont. Make Moreno Valley so hot that Drake <laughs> has to move there. <laughs> He's just gonna Drake be your neighbor. <laughs> this nigga's crazy. Funny as hell. Um. All right. Any, is there anything you you got left, suspect? Anything any, anything we got to touch on here? I think we pretty much. You feel me? He's a young dude. He's mysterious. Yeah. He has a mystique and about still, him. And he young, bro. He eighteen. He still got a life to live. You know what I'm saying? There's gonna be a lot of shit covered. I for the drop hella shit too. Like I was like, all oh, like last year I was dropping. Keep doing the same shit. That's the album. But keep having more shit covered too. The videos gonna be crazier, crazier every time. You think gonna start a label? Ooh. I'm thinking of a lot of shit. I'm about, it's a lot of shit I even say. I'm thinking of a lot of shit. Could be a lot of shots going. Y'all gonna see like, oh, this nigga's smart. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got artists? Mm, artists? No. No, I don't got artists. I just got homies that rap. I don't think about that right now. I just like, that's my homie, that's my homie. Type shit. Got it. Yeah, you're so young. All right, that's five. I appreciate you, man. Mm-hmm. Thanks for coming through. I appreciate you too. We fucking with the music. We're all looking forward to hearing some some more shit. Yep, keep yeah. going crazy. Everybody go turn them up on streaming services and YouTube, et cetera. Yeah, seriously, for the drop that album. Let's go. S5, Almighty Suspect. Coolest podcast in the world. Check us out on YouTube, TikTok, Patreon, Instagram, OnlyFans, et cetera. Like, comment, and subscribe. Nojumper.com if you want to support.